Hi guys, this is module 7, lesson 3. Today we will learn how to create a bar graph using a data table. Hoy vamos a aprender cómo hacer una gráfica de barras usando una tabla de datos. So just to review guys, a table is a representation of data. So this whole thing is a table. Alright, my title is pizza toppings. These are my categories, cheese, pepperoni, sausage, and pineapple. And the numbers below it are the data. So this tells me four people like cheese, nine people like pepperoni, seven people like sausage, and six people like pineapple. Okay, and data is a set of information. So this whole thing, all right, is giving me information. Okay, so una tabla es representación de datos. Entonces todo esto es mi tabla. Y el título de la tabla es uh, pizza toppings, los tipos de pizzas. Uh, cheese, pepperoni, sausage y pineapple son las categorías. Y los números, ok, son los datos que son un grupo de información. Así es que aquí dice cuatro personas le gusta el queso, a nueve les gusta pepperoni, a siete le gusta la salchicha y a seis le gusta la piña. Ok. So, yesterday... We learned about a picture graph, which is a representation of data using pictures. Okay, so this is my picture graph. Alrighty. Um, and we had, I used the same um, table from the previous slide. And it, the title was pizza toppings. These are my categories. Alright, and then these were the numbers that were in the table. Okay, so four... 9, 7, and 6. Okay. Um, so, ayer aprendimos sobre una gráfica de imágenes. Okay, que es una representación de datos usando imágenes. Así que aquí está mi gráfica de imágenes. Okay, y tiene la misma información que la tabla. Se trataba de los tipos de pizza. Aquí están mis categorías. Y aquí están las cantidades de cada categoría. Okay. But today, guys, we're learning about a bar graph, which is also a representation of data, except it uses bars, okay? So look at this graph, okay? It's the same information, the same data as this graph, okay? But the only difference is that this, um, my bar graph uses bars, okay? If you look at these, they're bars. Already, so let's compare. So my title is still pizza toppings for both. Okay, I have my categories, cheese, pepperoni, sausage, pineapple, cheese, pepperoni, sausage, pineapple. And then here, four people like cheese, because there's four X's. And in this graph, four people like cheese because um, the top of my bar goes across to the four, okay? Um, nine people like pepperoni here and Nine people like pepperoni in this graph because if you look across, it's at the top of my bar is at the nine. Okay, here seven people like sausage, and in this graph, we have the top of my bar goes over to the seven. That's how you know seven people like sausage, and then we have six people that like uh, pineapple on their pizza, and here above my P. All right, my bar goes across to the six. Six people like uh, pineapple on their pizza. Okay, so it's the same thing, just the only difference is that a picture graph uses um, pictures or X's, and a bar graph uses bars. All right, so una gráfica de barra es una representación de datos que usa barras. Así es que estas dos gráficas son iguales, lo único que es diferente es que esta gráfica de imágenes, usa imágenes y aquí decidimos usar X y esta gráfica usa barras ok, así es que aquí mis 4 es igual a estos 4 y 9 aquí es igual a este 9 el 7 de aquí que le gusta salchicha es igual a estos y a las 6 personas que le gusta piña es igual a estas 6 personas que le gusta piña ok, pero todo es igual mi título es igual Mis categorías son iguales y mis números son iguales, okay? Alrighty, guys. So, let's practice it. 
So our instructions here say draw a bar graph using the, the data from the table below. So vamos a practicar. Dice dibuja una gráfica de barras usando los datos de la tabla abajo. Okay, so here's my table. All right, my title is Favorite TV Shows. And my categories are Paw Patrol, Doc McStuffins, Peppa Pig, and SpongeBob SquarePants. So just like yesterday when we started drawing our L shape, all right, today that's what we're going to do too. So I'm going to draw my big L to outline my bar graph, okay? And then um, I'm going to look at the numbers. So here I have 8, 4, 5, and 2, okay? So I'm going to go... I'm going to label my graph up to 10. Okay, so I'm just going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Already, and you write your numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Already, make sure you're not writing them here in the space like 1, 2, 3. Okay, because... um. That might get a little confusing when you're drawing your bars. All right, just draw your number right next to the line. And I'm gonna label my categories. So, um, I'm gonna write Pop Patrol, Doc McStuffins, Peppa, and I'm gonna put an S for SpongeBob. All right, so I'm just gonna look here. For example, um, eight people like Paw Patrol, so I'm going to draw a big bar up to where my 8 is, alright, and then um, you can leave it like that or you can color it in, alrighty, um, just so that it's quick I'm going to leave it blank, um, I'm going to look at my Doc McStuffins category, 4 people like Doc McStuffins, so I'm going to draw my bar graph that goes up to the 4, okay, um, five people like Peppa Pig, so I'm going to draw a bar that goes up to the five. And two people like Spongebob, so I'm going to draw my bar graph up to the two. Okay, and if you check your work, all right, you just have to look across. Here it's telling me eight people like Paw Patrol, four people like Doc McStuffins, five people like Peppa Pig, and two people like Spongebob Squarepants. All righty. Um, and you cannot forget your title. So my title here is Favorite TV Shows. Just like in my graph here, in my table here, okay? So aquí está mi gráfica de barras, okay? Aquí está mi título, igual que el título de acá. Mis categorías, igual que las categorías de acá arriba en mi tabla. Y aquí a ocho personas le gusta Paw Patrol y es lo que se ve aquí. A cuatro personas le gusta Doc McStuffins y es lo que veo aquí. A cinco personas le gusta Peppa Pig y es lo que puse aquí. Y a dos personas le gusta SpongeBob SquarePants y es lo que tengo aquí en mi categoría de SpongeBob. Ok. So let's do another one, guys. So again, we're drawing a bar graph uh, using the data from our table. So my table is titled favorite books and again guys I'm gonna start by drawing an L to outline my bar graph alrighty um, and you can go it would it would be easier if you start with the title okay so my title is favorite book so I'm gonna write that here at the top of my bar graph favorite books estoy empezando con mi título then you can label your categories. So I have Pete the Cat, so I'm going to put a P. I have the Rainbow Fish, so I'm putting an R. Estoy um, escribiendo mis categorías. A U for Unique Monique. And a D for Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Alrighty. And then I'm just going to label 10 on the side of my graph. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that I know how high my bars are going to go. And make sure you write your numbers. So you don't have to count every time. Alright, 8, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. And then, now you're ready to just draw in your, your bars. So, 7 people like Pete the Cat. So I'm going to draw my bar all the way up to a 7. Okay. 
um, five people like the rainbow fish. So I'm drawing this up to my five. Okay, estoy llenando la información. Eight people like Unique Monique, so I'm drawing my bar up to the number eight. And four people like Diary of a Wimpy Kid, so I'm going to draw my bar up to the four. Alrighty, and that's it. I'm done with my bar graph. Alright, so same thing, my title. Here's my title. My categories. Here are my four categories. And guys, make sure you put them in the same order that you see them in the table. Alright. And here are my data, and same thing. Seven people like Pete the Cat, five people like the Rainbow Fish, eight people like Unique Monique, and four people like Diary of a Wimpy Kid. All right, and that's it. Just make sure you have the same information in your bar graph. So aquí está mi, mi barra de, mi gráfica de barras. Aquí está mi título, mis categorías que están acá abajo, y los números son los iguales a los que están aquí in my graphica, okay? Alrighty guys, so this one you're gonna try out by yourself and then you're gonna check your work. So pause the video, draw your bar graph from the data table and then push play when you're ready to check your work with me. All right, so este lo van a hacer ustedes solos uh, y vamos a revisar nuestro trabajo después. Así es que pausa la video, dibuja tu gráfica de barras y cuando estés listo le presionas play para que Revises tu trabajo, ok? Alrighty guys, so I'm going to start by drawing my big L to label, to have the outline of my bar graph. And then um, you can go ahead and start labeling it. So my title is Animal Classification, so I'm going to write that as my title. Oops, Animal Classification. This is my título, igual que en la tabla. And then my categories, I have a B for birds, F for fish, M for mammals, and an R for reptiles. Ahí están mis categorías. Make sure you label your numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And write the actual number next to the line. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And guys, um, let's say for example that the one of the categories up here, let's say like fish. If fish said 12... All right, I would keep going up here on my number line on the side up to 12, okay? So I would go 11, 12, okay? But um, right now it was just a 9, so I'm going to keep it at 9, okay? So, and then um, you're ready to draw your bars. So 7 people like birds, so I'm going to go up to the 7. Um, nine people like fish, so you go up to the nine. Eight people like mammals, so I'm going to go up to the eight. And six people like reptiles, so I'm going up to my six here. And you're all done. All set. All right. And then just check your work. Make sure you have your title. Make sure you have the categories. And then the numbers. So we have seven birds, nine fish eight mammals, and six reptiles. Already? So, aquí está mi gráfica de barras. Solo verifica que tienes el mismo título, que tienes las categorías, y que tus números son iguales. Siete pájaros, nueve pescados, ocho mamíferos, y seis reptilios. Y eso es todo. Ok? So guys, for your exit ticket, um, you're going to draw a bar graph and you're going to use the data from this table, okay? You do not need to copy this table into your notebook, alrighty? If you just want to pause the video and draw your bar graph um, without having to draw the data table, that's fine, okay? Because I have it here, so I just need to see the bar graph from you, okay? Make sure you have your title, the categories, and your bar graph with the numbers, okay? And that's it. You're going to take a picture and submit to Class Dojo. 
So, tu trabajo es dibujar una gráfica de barras y vas a usar los datos de esta tabla para dibujar tu gráfica de barras, ¿ok? No tienes que copiar la tabla a tu cuaderno, yo solo necesito ver la gráfica de barras, ¿ok? Asegúrate que tenga el título, las categorías y los datos de información, ¿ok? Alrighty, guys. See you tomorrow.